today I thought I would paint a blue tit. There's lots of blue tits in the garden at the moment at the bird table and uh, they're such a cheerful little bird so I thought we would do that. First thing to do is a quick sketch. So nice sharp pencil and uh, a photograph to paint from on my iPad. Okay, so this little bird is perched on a sprig of um, blossom of some sort. Let's have a a rubber handy just in case. I like to do a drawing first before I start painting, so in my sketchbook, so that I can remind myself about the way the bird is marked, how the markings go and and what his shape is. This is a really good photo because it shows there's this triangle of dark blue here, back of his neck. He's got a little blue cap here. And then there's a, a line of dark markings which goes parallel to the cap really. Cross his head like that a little bit wider, about two thirds of the way along where his eye is, so like that, and then his, his beak, I always have trouble with the beak, the beak is rounded on the top and rounded on the bottom, and then there's a division there, there we go, and then down here there's a dark line, under here there are some dark feathers too, so this is dark, this is less dark, then here we have a dark line, this is of course all yellow, you can just see on the photo his little tail peeping out here, a little bit of wing here, and then one leg is coming out here and grasping a twig and the other leg is here and then there's just some blossom coming off of the branch. Okay. Okay, so there's my sketch that I'm going to paint, but I'll have to put that on my watercolour paper. Now, as far as colours go, um, I'm going to use cobalt blue for the top of his head. Which is that. Then we'll want some darker blue for the back of his neck. So that's phthalo blue and violet. And then for his body, we're going to use transparent yellow. And as you can see, those colors go together. So when we want 
our greys and browns, we can make them from the purple, the violet, and the blue and the yellow, which together make a selection of different colours. Okay. I've decided to paint a very simple blue tit today with very little of their wing showing. Um, it's mostly yellow. So that's just going to be a simpler way of starting. So I have done my sketch and I think the first thing I'm going to do is paint the twig that he's standing on so that um, when I come to do his legs the twig will be dry. So I'm just wetting the twig first of all and then I'm going to go in with some brown. I need my test sheet of course. Just lightly brushing in some, uh, I think this is raw umber, brown, but any brown will do. And then just to give a little bit of shadow, we just touch along the edges with some violet. Uh, bleed into itself. Okay. Uh, now, I think I'll just do his breast first. Make that a nice bright yellow. And then we want a little bit of shadow down here, which I think is probably greenish. So this is cobalt blue. And his tail, in the photo anyway, it looks as if it's greenish. <clears throat> Little bit of violet and cobalt here to indicate the wing area. And then there's this dark line here. Of course, he has a wing on this side, I can't see. quite how this is going to turn out. Cobalt blue on his roof, that is to say his head. And then I think I might want a smaller brush for his eye. Sometimes I start with the eye Sometimes I don't. It's black, of course. And then I, th I think this Line here is also black. It looks black in the photo anyway. But it probably would look better in the painting if it was blue. Is that what they call artistic license? The 
very characteristic mark up the front. Having got to this point, the crucial stage is now to let it dry and just put in his legs, which are the same sort of colour as the twig. And I think we will need a bit more yellow here. Okay, stage one done, we'll let it dry. Okay, so first stage is dry. I'm not going to make a big deal out of this painting, it's just a simple sketch to get me in the mood for the spring. Um, but the last thing, a few, a few finishing touches. Um, I want to emphasize the line around his eye a little bit more. This dark area here, maybe just a few there, and a few feathers here, and here, and there, and then maybe. perhaps. Okay. We could add some flowers and things of the blossom and so on to the background. And if I was going to sell this, I probably would because people love that. But I'm not <clears throat> going to do that. That's uh, not necessary for this because this is a painting of, a, of the bird. So I'll let you use your discretion as to whether or not you think this is finished. Of course, that's the thing with watercolour, as I always say. It's a case of when, <clears throat> when do you think it's actually finished? It's not easy. Some people take their paintings to a very high level of finish. Um, I, I tend not to. Well, I don't, and I can't. It's not the way I paint. I just try to get the character. I would like to turn the paper round at this point because I want to just break that edge 
but I taped it down. Blue tits have a little crest. Don't always notice it, but their heads often have this little characteristic crest. Okay, I'm going to call that done. We'll let that dry. And there we are, blue tit. Thanks for being with me today. If you've enjoyed this little moment in the studio, please give me a like and subscribe and have a look at some of my longer videos. Bye for now. <laughs>